Hello guys, today I want to show you how to make this stylized fire. For this we need to have two simple things. One material and the idea is to generate fire using procedural noise nodes. Unless you have performance issue you can stick to this approach. The other thing is one Niagara system with three emitters. Emitters are going to be created inside the system because we don't need to reuse them in any other system. Uh, we need to create material instances from our material uh, domain. One for the flame, one for the smoke. Ember is going to use the default uh, material of the engine. So let's start. Here you may see my material. It's kind of easy, actually. So, it's translucent and unlit. In case you have the depth of field effect, you should select Render before depth of field. And in case you have any post process with the custom buffer, you should select Custom Depth Rights checkbox. So, noise here uses Vector3 input. So, that's why I have this uh, UV uh, calculations with the append node of zero up here. Scale UV just to uh, change the pattern size, pen it to make our pattern move. The particle random value, in case you have two or more uh, instances of our uh, fire on the level. This node helps us to generate the pattern with the sort of randomness, so it looks differently. And I use it to boost our speed on the y-axis, so the pattern moves from bottom to top. Other trick here is to make our pattern not only move, but to shape shift. So that's why I uh, use G-mask on the texture coordinate, so I have the vertical axis with some adjustments, so it's the sort of gradient high and gradient intensity uh, coefficients. We also need to multiply everything on the radial gradient exponential, so we have the pattern uh, which looks uh, like it's circle. And to make it white and crisp on the edges without any sub-pixels, we use the round noise round uh, node here. Then copy everything as you can see here. So our instance of flame and the smoke, they look kind of similar, but they actually are different. You can see my settings and you can play around with them on your own. One more time. So as for the Niagara system, to create one you need to press right mouse button inside your content browser, select Niagara system. To make the emitter the same and select add emitter. I prefer to go with the empty one and to add only those modules that I need. So flame, it's the CPU based particle, spawn rate of 6. You may also see that I have set sprite alignment, it's the custom attribute, and Z axis is 1. It, uh, that means that whenever I place my camera, the sprite should look towards it. To make this one, press plus button, use set new or existing parameter, and here press plus button and look for sprite alignment, like this. So initialize particle. I have randomness inside the lifetime module and the sprite size, so it's extruded on the y-axis. Shape location is cylinder with the height of zero, it means each element start uh, from the pivot point of 0, 0, 0. 
radius 6, so it's expanded over this area. I also have the sort of offset on the that axis, so the fire starts a little bit lower than the actual pivot. So, scale sprite size. That means that with time, my uh, sprites are gonna be bigger. Scale color. So we start with the uh, sort of transparent one to fully opaque and then to transparent. I use gravity force with a value of 15. So you can go with the velocity. I prefer to use the gravity. Uh, it looks a little bit uh, more realistic. I use Sprite Renderer with a custom alignment and the face to camera. Here you may see that I have Flame Material Instance. Other thing is to have Light Renderer. So uh, it's gonna be the simple point light and it's gonna light things outside uh, outside. So let's say here you may see how it looks in the game. So if I deselect it, you may see my uh, dummy boy uh, doesn't receive any light from this system. You need to adjust the use inverse squared for love and the radius scale. Once you've done it, you may see this pretty much realistic effect. And with the shell shader, it looks astonishing. Smoke. Basically, you can duplicate each of these uh, emitter and just adjust some settings. So it's also CPU based, with a spawn rate of 4, same sprite alignment, initial as particle. So we have the gray color, lifetime is a little bit longer, and the sprite size is a little bit uh, more squared rather than extruded. Shape location is also cylinder. So cylinder height is zero, but the radius is a little bit broader. And as you can see, I've set mode, I've set on that axis is a little bit higher than the previous particle, previous emitter. It just looks more realistic. Scale sprite size one and one, scale color the same. And the gravity force is a little bit higher. As for sprite renderer, everything is the same. The last one is Ambas. So it's the GPU particle. Here you may select it. And you need to use calculate bounce mode fixed. So if you have small bounce, once you turn camera outside the range of your particle, it's going to be clipped. So Make it wise. As for the spawn rate, it's gonna be 8. As for particles, it looks kinda similar to that in terms of the color that we have in our flame. Basically it should be the same or a little bit uh, more bright, brighter. Sprite size also excluded on the y-axis. Shape location here is cone with the following settings, cone angle and the lens. Also offset is a little bit lower than the previous emitter has. So, as you can see, those embers come from the flame. Scale color here is a little bit different. So we start with the bright one and we end up with uh, the transparent. So it means they gonna be uh, burnt out. We also use the gravity force with the high value of the velocity and we use curl noise to generate the randomness of the rotation. Play around with the noise strength and noise frequency. 
As for the sprite renderer, it's simply velocity aligned. And that's it. So, it looks like this. Uh, I didn't use any heat distortion because I already have enough details, so uh, nothing else couldn't distract me from this beautiful view. And as you can see, I have the depth of field. So this particle is a little bit uh, blurred and it looks amazing. I can actually see those embers flying around and everything is rendered perfectly fine. Nothing is clipping and it looks uh, realistic. With this being said, I'm gonna upload this to my Patreon and hopefully you will acquire it. As always guys, please subscribe to my channel, leave your feedback. The link to my Patreon is under this video and see you soon guys.